to my performance called Lena, and that's me. And I'd like to allow me to introduce my chair. My bodyguard, my caregiver, and my lifesaver. So I've named him. Diana Ross stars with Billy D. Williams and Anthony Perkins in this rags to riches story of a model torn between love and success in the fashion world. Making clothes for rich people to look at in the magazine? You think any of this crap means anything to these people around here? It means something to me. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? I'm taking maximum pleasure in introducing to you the charming Mahogany. I'm going to be a designer. And so you shall be, my darling. But let's not try to run until we've learned how to stroll down a walkway. 20 million lire! 20 million lire! Twice! So you found a success, Brian. I'm a success. Success is nothing without someone you love to share it with. Fame will bring her heartbreak and tragedy but won't stop the pursuit of her dream. Diana Ross is Mahogany. Mahogany is my chair's name. <laughs> and she's been good to me. Um, I was born with multiple sclerosis, known as MS. And I've been living with MS since, for, since I was very young. Mahogany is also one of my favorite colors, a mixture of brown and red. And it's also one of my favorite movies. Of course, Diana Ross played Tracy, the lead. I love Diana. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce my beautiful parents. They have blessed me with life in this world. And this is a picture of them before I was born in the 60s. Back in the 1960s, before I was born, I, well, let me go back. I was born in 1964. Yes, 1964. <laughs> And I'd like to show you the years of 1964. There are many events taking place during that time. Yeah. Towards the end of the year of the baby boom, boom my love has era. no beginning, my love has no end. No front or back. My love won't bend Martin up in the King, middle the to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Lost in a spin There was a Cold War in Europe you. There were many things happening during this time And there was the famous Broadway show titled Hello Dolly that had Carol Channing as the star. It was really something. Then there were the race riots in 1964 in the city of Chicago. It seemed to spread. Four men from Britain 
who came here to the United States, known as the Beatles, came to America. Women <laughs> flashed, <laughs> fell out. It was Beatlemania. The Beatles. <laughs> there was also a popular movie called My Fair Lady. And it starred Audrey Hepburn. It was a really popular movie back in 1964, as I remember. Malcolm X also. Introduced the African American unity. Now I want to show you what Chicago looked like. The north of Chicago was very diverse, international, so to speak. Many people of different backgrounds socialized together. And the northwest was the more snooty white area where there was high class and middle class whites. But in the south of Chicago was mostly black. It was uh, cheaper to live in the south of Chicago. That is where I grew up. Growing up being black, deaf, and queer was tough. But I made the right choices that I needed to make for myself. I don't know how I made it, but one thing I do know, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't persevere, if I didn't carry on through all that I had to experience. And I'm here today for this show. Wow. Now here is the story. Lena and me. Back when I was a child, about seven, I saw the most beautiful woman. In my eyes, she was perfect. Her teeth were so white. <laughs> she was a black woman. My mother told me she was black. She could have passed for white. But I hugged that black and white TV as her picture was on it. And so I say, thank you, Lena. <laughs> she emoted beauty. She sang beauty, excuse me, beautifully. And she was in an old movie. I didn't know at that time what the name was or what the song was titled. I didn't care. I learned much later. There was no captioning. I know that in school, uh, they did not provide culture or language for me. I was deprived of that in Chicago school system. It was a really negative experience. But Lena saved me. 
Although, she helped me identify who I was through her powerful performances. Even though I didn't have deaf identity at that time, but I followed and found my steps, one after the other after the other. Wow. One day, I was in our bathroom at home, all alone. I looked into the mirror, and I kept staring and staring. and wondering, and suddenly, the movie with Lena Horne in it, Stormy Weather, that's an old movie. I think it was back from 19, six, 1943. I took my mother's earrings, And I took my mother's lipstick. Mm Enjoyed the last performance. Our next performer is a deaf, deaf dancer, and he will be dancing for us tonight. Please embrace and welcome Bill Young and enjoy. Thank you. Beautiful. Lena was beautiful. The history of Lena. I used to wonder a long time ago, 
White Hollywood, she fought to become successful as a black woman in White Hollywood. She suffered to have White Hollywood accept her. Wow, what Lena has been through. But there was something else. She had dignity. She had pride. Yet I was not proud. I thought I could be like my mom, my dad, my brother, Tim. They were strong. They were masculine. I wished I could have been like them, but I was femme. And it was seen as awful and negative. I had wished I'd follow more in the strength of my brother and my dad so people would not be so adverse to me. And follow, just be on the path of masculinity, but being femme. I could not leave that behind. I could not just toss it away. It's my dad. This is Tim, my brother. I loved my dad. I loved my brother. And I wished that they would please just let me go. And I found that I could be free to be. I feel wonderful. I feel that I have back my femme. Like Dorothy from The Wiz. <laughs> Finally, I'm home. And somehow, suppose the football player, the thug, members of the team who would throw tomatoes at my face, I'd say, uh-uh, I will stay right here where I am, like Rosa Parks. refusing to give up her seat to whites. That's how I felt to have back my femme. I'm proud to be femme. Now I say thank you, Lena, for teaching me to accept my black, deaf, queer identity.
ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming. And I would like to take a moment to show this part of a Lena Horn movie. I may not win. 